The earth has changed. Our numbers grow, our resources dwindle. An event anywhere in the world can now threaten the security of every country. But some of those best placed to advise and guide our responses to this crisis often remain unheard. We now have an opportunity for change, where the voices of Southern researchers can finally be heard. Welcome to the Connect Self campaign. Connect South is a campaign calling on individuals and organizations working in development to pledge more support to Southern researchers to work together to foster an environment of shared responsibility, open access initiatives, international research collaborations, and high-level discussion. As world leaders pay more attention to the inequalities facing the world, organizations are renewing efforts to address the problems. But how much influence does the research and real-world understanding from developing nations have in policy decision-making when development research from wealthy countries commands such prominence? In their own words, Southern researchers describe the issues. The first problem is, uh, is getting funding for research. Okay. Uh, the biggest, that's the biggest problem of getting funding. Then, of course, the problem of assessing data, even when data is available uh, in my own part of the country. I think GDNet is a great platform for young researchers because it validates where you've come so far and also encourages you to keep going. What Southern researchers face in communicating their work is essentially the relationship between their work and the policy making community. As we all know, economies have a tendency to speak to themselves and little do they realize that they are writing for the wider public. So there is a need therefore in this context to inculcate in their minds that as they do the research and as they interpret the results, they should have different audiences. One, the academic audience, two, the policy audience. The policy audience may require something different from the academic audience. And the key challenge here is how to tailor their research to the policy audience. And that's the critical challenge. Access to research data, accessing research funding, difficulty in getting published and recognized on the international stage. These are the barriers to southern research influencing global policy. It is very important for organizations to, to join the Connect South campaign because uh, there, there was, uh, up until some years ago, like a monopoly of voices from the northern I mean, countries. Now the world has changed. The, the southern researchers uh, are talented. We have to identify those talents and I think that we have to create this uh, critical mass of researchers who become policy makers and it's through the connectivity of these people to by connecting the South that we're going to discover and we're going to support through funding, through the participation in different projects, through training them to communicate their research and their public policy recommendations, they're going to become the leaders of their societies and it's through this human capital that societies change. So it is very important, I'd say it, it was a pending assignment and I, I really want to mobilize the different institutions to join this campaign. But who is responsible for ensuring knowledge and experience from the South is heard and informs global policy decision making? The answer is all of us. Southern researchers deserve to be heard and the world needs the expertise of those from developing nations. So, take another look at the Connect Self campaign and work with them to shape a fairer, more sustainable, more equitable world.